Mercedes Benz 230 Cabriolet, A. W143, 1937 to 41. In addition to having a wheelbase lengthened by 350 mm, 14 in, the relaunch W143 came with a further 180 mm, 7.1 in, increase in body length. Most standard bodied cars were now 4,580 mm, 180 in, long, although the six light Pullman limousine bodied cars were longer even than that at 4,790 mm, 189 in. There was no longer a two door limousine, sedan slash saloon, body offered, but the overall range of available bodies was actually greater than with the earlier version of the car, now including six seater Londolet and Touran wagon touring car, bodies as well as a four-door four-seater cabriolet, known as the Cabriolet D, and a craft disc targeted at taxi operators. The engine on the second 1937 version of the car was unchanged, as were the gear ratios. However, the gearbox now incorporated synchro mesh on all four forward ratios, whereas the earlier W143 had included synchro mesh only for the two top ratios. The Mercedes-Benz 260D, launched in 1936 as one of the world's first two diesel engine passenger cars, also underwent a significant upgrade in 1937. The new car shared the wheelbase and platform as well as most of the body options of the W143, but the diesel-powered car had a different works number. It was known as the Mercedes-Benz W138. The Mercedes-Benz 143 remained in production until 1941, although only 22 were produced in the final year. Between 1936 and 1941 Mercedes-Benz produced 20,336 of the cars, making it their second most popular model to date, albeit far behind their top seller of the time, the smaller W136. The car's intended successor was presumably the Mercedes-Benz W153 which came with the same engine but a much more modern body. That car's production run was truncated by the intervention of war, but after the war, in 1951, the manufacturer returned to the market for six-cylinder saloons and cabriolets with the Mercedes-Benz 220.